Mining sustains life on the planet. Most things that you can touch, you can feel, you can see, they are products of mining. The challenge is to completely change the way we've been working for the past 100 years. To mine a kilogram of copper 100 years ago to today, the amount of energy required has gone up 16 times. And that's unsustainable. Future smart mining is about changing that footprint, changing that trajectory. When I interviewed for this job and I, I met Tony, I said, what, what is it you want to do? He goes, I want to disrupt the mining industry and make a real change. And that really resonates with me. In looking at and doing our homework on the challenges, we believed that we could achieve carbon neutrality by 2040. So that became the commitment. When we think about decarbonisation and new forms of energy, there's so many opportunities of creating a very different future for our communities and our children. When looking at our mine sites globally, we realised that the best place to start was the diesel that we consume in our large mining trucks. They consume between two and a half to 3,000 litres of diesel per day. We looked at, you know, synthetic fuels, biofuels. When you start going through those options, you quickly realise that they're not the right solution. The more we looked at hydrogen and its characteristics being very efficient form of transporting energy and also providing a very clean solution, it made sense on a lot of other fronts. There was no hydrogen truck available in the industry. To address that issue, we had to do it ourselves. We have designed a hydrogen truck basically from scratch. Converting a 300 ton haul truck to run on hydrogen fuel is not the low hanging fruit of hydrogen vehicle conversions. When you start pushing the boundaries of supply chains and the research and design that's been done, you really start testing the true limits of the technologies. Getting DT-74 in South Africa to drive with our power plant is just the beginning. That's one truck. Anglo-American's vision is much bigger than that. They're envisioning hundreds of trucks at mine sites all around the world. By converting these diesel trucks to hydrogen, we'll be eliminating up to 80% of the emissions associated with diesel on each mine site. We are busy with the installation of a 100 megawatt PV plant that will supply green energy to our electrolyzer to generate green hydrogen, making sure that the entire value chain ultimately is green. We're addressing a carbon issue that we want to deal with internally. But there's also potentially a business opportunity beyond mining. Hydrogen is almost like a, the Swiss army knife of, of energy vectors. It can be used in many, many applications. These designs can go into rail, they can go into ships, they can go into heavy industry. As those applications all switch over, then the demand for hydrogen is going to increase significantly. What's at stake for us here, if we really look very long term, is a future for our children. How do we shape the world we live in for our future generations? If it's not companies like ours, who else will? That's a responsibility we feel very deeply.